the Jewish New Year tomorrow, the new man, or Yahweh's uh, feast day. So let's celebrate. Think about your fellowship with Yahweh this year and the things of the past that are burned up in the all consuming fire of Yahweh. It says in the Bible that Yahweh is an all consuming fire. So it's why it's pleasing to Yahweh to offer gifts to him and sing praises to him. to do as well. Drink of his spirit that you might be filled with his righteousness seek after his kingdom. Hallelujah. Be afraid of no evil. One wise man said evil wins when good men do nothing. Make sure that you're doing something for the Lord this year. He's preaching the gospel feeding and clothing the homeless, driving demons out of people for them to have not only better quality life, but for to live a life glorifying to the Father through the Son. If we live in the Son, we don't sin. Hallelujah. So we live and walk according to the Spirit of Yahweh things pleasing unto him without doing the latter undone or the former mercy justice and faith got in the old city of Jerusalem and it's a very very beautiful smell unto the Lord it's like just strong perfume and so beautiful so beautiful He's chasing some rabbits. So everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Thank you, Jesus. The rain's gone off. We've had beautiful weather here. And the past few days, as I've said in my other videos, the Lord wanted me to make a video about 
TV being still in the top five mind control devices in the world. And I found out that just a few days ago it was the 92nd birthday of the invention of the television, where it was first uh, displayed at Selfridges in London. Not just displayed, but it, it worked. And so it shows you that that device was even invented for mind control. It was invented so that, um, you know, for advertising. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Give your request unto Yahweh, whether it be a healing that you require, ask it of him, and he shall he shall give it to thee. Come to me faith, hallelujah. Thanks and people with uh, neck pains. Are, are actually leaving, shoulder and neck pains, I believe are leaving right now, in the name of Yahshua, the Messiah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Such a beautiful thing. Amazing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, It's keeping us warm and it's keeping us uh, smelling nice too. <laughs> Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just lift your hands up and we'll give some more praise and thanksgiving unto the Lord.
said only those who come to you doing the Father's will then you shall receive the beloved of the the Son is the beloved of the Father no man comes to the Father except through the Son the Lord Jesus draws closer to you destroy your enemies and Lord Jesus give us the strength to redeem thy people from around the world who are on the brink of destruction Lord Lord Jesus, none of your commands contradict the Torah, in fact, you fulfill Torah. We can only do that through your Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Father, the last carnal sacrifice ever accepted by thee is your Son. And always will be, Lord. Tell even your coming, Lord Jesus. Let it be swift. Make you in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mercy is everlasting. His kindness. Is better than life. Hallelujah. Shama o Kuru Shamanaka. Yasha Kantia di Shamanaka. Shakapio Shamanaka. The Lord says that He enjoys thanksgiving and praise more than money, more than, more than financial tithing. The Lord enjoys the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving a lot more than financial giving. Even though, yes, we're commanded to financially get as well. Hallelujah. But the Lord says he prefers the thanks and praise and worship to his name a lot more. The Lord says he's going to be a shield. And a butler to those who abide in him and who observe his commandments. In other words, who do his commandments. We can only do his commandments through the Holy Spirit. This, in fact, what I'm doing is not a commandment. In case you don't know, it's just a free will offering. That's all it is. But it's just a free will offering unto Yahweh, unto the Lord. Jesus, who died, now glorified, 
beginning to just drizzle a little bit here but thank you the car is still going and look wonder if Mr. Tiffin's going on here Shakalish Baruch Ababa Shemiyah Yoshim and the Tanki Jesus Mahal Shakaliya You know, so I'm praying in tongues a little bit, and these tongues were learned to me through the Holy Spirit alone. I never, I never copied anyone's tongues. I just let the Holy Spirit speak words, and I discovered that Shekan means the glory in the, in the presence of the Lord. It's not Shekinah. There's no, no such thing in, in Scripture. Um, there's no name in the Hebrew or Greek called called that. Uh, the name in the Hebrew is Shekan, the Shekan glory. And it's, it's a male word, because God is always um, described as being male in the scriptures. That would be, Oh, Chabad Hashem, God, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes, you told it. Jesus Christ is Yahweh in the flesh, in case you hadn't guessed. And if you don't believe that, you're not a Christian. If you don't believe that, you know, Yahweh, see, the, the, the Son takes the Father's name, you see. The only, the only being that, that, that has ever appeared to man is, is, is Jesus Christ that takes the Father's name as well. Jesus says, I came in my Father's name, but you knew me not. Another shall come in his own name, him he shall receive. So, so this is why there's all this uh, confusion about the sacred name movement, because it's not really a movement, it's just God's name. And that's it, God has a sacred name, it's not got a common name, you see. And so you can only praise his name through the Holy Spirit. You praise a holy name through the Holy Spirit. You see? Makes sense. It's logical sense. But to the uh, unsaved and to the unwashed masses, you know, these things don't make any sense. Hallelujah. We say, oh, well, we don't want to cause any strife and, and you know, and trouble within the body of the Lord. Well, praise the name of Yah then. You know, you don't need to be stressful and stressed out and all of that. You can just praise Yah. Give him thanks and praise offerings. Offer him your, your, your life. Ask, ask Yeshua Jesus Christ to come into your heart. Hallelujah. He shall come and dwell in it and he shall light that fire in your heart. I've, I've heard testimonies on Sid Roth where men and women have experienced the, you know, the, the, the fragrance of the Lord. And they describe it sometimes as frankincense, myrrh, vanilla, all types of spices and and uh, wonderful things. And uh, you know, it's a thing that you can't create, but it's a thing that the Lord alone um, does when, when He comes and visits us. Hallelujah. And you, you remain dedicated in prayer. When you get saved, you don't take your foot off the accelerator you you keep on driving you uh, wait for his instruction and uh, sometimes he will drive himself you know to the places that you you don't know how to get to but this is uh, it's all through prayer I mean uh, I believe that the Christian life is probably about I'm, I'm exaggerating but it's probably about 80% prayer and 20% action you know but I'm exaggerating a little bit but it's just to get you to be encouraged to pray, you know, just to get you to be encouraged to pray, hallelujah. Baruch Abba Shem Yahweh, thank you Father. Thank you Father. I'm just going to have to move this camera a little bit. I'm just going to try and push some of these, uh, He's a wooden slate here. And, uh, there go. <clears throat> uh, 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. going. It's an important thing. I remember I was speaking to uh, Lloyd Chen the other day and I says I just feel you know uh, a little bit uh, lethargic in different things and, was, and he said you know he, quote, he quoted me scriptures you know don't put the fire out and all that stuff and then I says I really feel I you know do you want to talk about a few things and he says well I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> So, so he didn't uh, get on the chat with me, but yeah, it's just amazing that we've got to avoid hypocrisy, you know. It's all very well sitting at the other end of a some place in the world and giving out scriptures and advice and prayers, but we must be ready to serve the Lord where we are, guys. And that alone is is, is probably the most difficult thing. It's quite easy to connect with people on the internet. But, uh, you know, to serve the Lord where we are, and the city that he's put you in, that's the challenge. That can be a challenge. Especially here in the UK, because, well, there's not a lot of faith around here in the UK. That means we need to uh, pay for more faith. Anyway. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's like uh, Mark, I believe that is. Hallelujah. We just raise our hands to you, O Yahweh. We bless you. Father, we thank you for who you are and that you've made us new creatures in Christ. Jesus, that we don't belong to ourselves, but we belong to you. Father, we um, bind every principality and power in the areas that we're in, and we ask, Father, you'd lead us according to your word to save souls. Hallelujah. Especially those who are on the brink, Lord, of destruction, Lord Jesus. We just pray that we redeem them. And rekindle the, the true fire within their hearts. Hallelujah. The fire of salvation comes through Jesus Christ alone, faith in Him alone. Hallelujah. That Thy Holy Scriptures testify to, and Thy Holy Scriptures testify to the spiritual gifts, and testify to Your kingdom, which is which is a kingdom more real than the place we're living in now. Hallelujah. And that You promise to. Resurrect the righteous and reign and rule with the righteous for a thousand years. We bless your holy name, Yahweh. We bless your holy name for all the promises in the book of Revelation to the seven churches, Lord Jesus, especially. Because we must fit into one of these categories if we're saved, Father. And also it says, it talks about the twelve lost tribes of Israel. None of us truly know except through Revelation. If we're one of these churches, Lord Jesus. And we pray now for Revelation from you, Father, to confirm the word you've written in our hearts, Lord Jesus, through your written word and through the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the blood that we shed at the cross at Calvary, Lord Jesus. And we ask, Father, to increase our faith that you may release these gifts to us, Father, and it may, may be made known, be made real to all those around us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give me a pal. Give me a pal. Come here. Thank you. Come here. Awesome.
some nice hot coals going. There's no offerings, other offerings going on the fire, but we're not having uh, any any food whatsoever. How do we tonight? Because it's just a little bit wet out here to stay out here. I'm sure Mr. Tootie's got his own food going. Hopefully somewhere. He's caught one of these rabbits. It won't be going on the fire. <laughs> Catch any rabbits, Paul? You catch any rabbits? No. I wish you enjoy it. Hallelujah. That just means blessed be the name of Yahweh. And when, when Jesus uh, <coughs> spoke, one of the last things—not the last thing he said, but. What he said to the, the people of Jerusalem was, um, You'll not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. said, I believe it was the name of Yah, the name of Yahweh, because, uh, you know, the uh, Jewish Orthodox are a little bit funny about saying the name of the Father, for some reason, and I think he was encouraging, he was saying, look, you know, this is the, the name of the God of Israel, this is the name that David was zealous for, this is the name I am, I come in, this is the name that, you know, um, Solomon sacrificed all these thousands of cattle to, you know, at the beginning of his reign, and um, it's the personal name for the for the Father, and it has meaning. No other being in the universe can be called after that name, because no other being in the universe can say they, they lasted from, you know, time, Im time immemorial, from before even the beginning of the creation of the universe, God, God began. And He reigns now, and even after things, you know, if the universe uh, fades away into nothing, which Jesus says that in the end, that everything shall fade away except uh, his word. Hallelujah. His word shall last for eternity, but even this universe won't last for, for all eternity. So so we're just here, and this is, this is kind of like... Uh, you can look at it in a number of different ways about what the gospel is through the parables, but but it's it's almost like um, you know the Lord saying that um, I, I'm trying to think of an example. A bad example would be this. It's the only one I can think of at the moment, right? Um, the twin towers. So people, you know, we're going into the twin towers. The, the, I believe there was a, a warning that went out for people not to go in. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like God's word. You know, God gives a testimony to see who's going to believe it. And the ones who believe it are the ones that are saved. Hallelujah. In eternity. The Apostle Peter talks about a judgment. Um, a final judgment coming, just as there was a judgment in Noah's day of water, there's a judgment of fire coming, an all-consuming fire. And I believe there's other people that speak about that. There's even the prophet Nostradamus that speaks about this uh, fire coming from the sky and all that stuff. So I, I think probably it's related to God's wrath, but it could be to do with the chemtrails. It could be a number of things, you know. But uh, we just praise the name of Yahweh. Thank the Lord.
think he's barking at some rabbits probably. with me, put them on the leash. I didn't think they'd need it, but... I'll be alright. Through the Spirit of the Lord is saying that he wants to release a healing to someone. Okay? Um, the Lord's just telling me that, um, the, the, the habits of this person is that they have a quiet self-confidence. Um, they don't really enjoy going to church, but they, they kind of go because they're trying to do the right thing to serve the Lord. But they know they have another calling in their life. Um, I feel the Spirit of the Lord's telling me their name begins with S. And, um, how do And it's, uh, I, f I feel the name Susan. If it's Susan, if that's you, the Lord wants to release a healing to you. I feel the Spirit of the Lord is saying that. And I feel that you know a Simon as well. That there's a Simon that's related to you. And I think that, um, you should pray more for Simon. That's the message I'm getting. I feel that the Lord's are telling me. So, if that's you, Susan, out there, hallelujah. Holy Spirit's just uh, encouraging you and just receive that healing from the Lord. Just spend some time in His presence and He will heal you. Pray in the Father's name and He'll heal you. Okay? Hallelujah. Good boy. Mr. Tooty's alright, he's back. And uh, I think I'm going to go in there, get some sleep. So, thank you for watching, guys. May Yahweh bless you and give you a good new year, as we say in Scotland. A good new year. God bless.